Paul, just a lesson here. Never underestimate the power of social media. Less than a day after watching the thief drive this very van off his lot, the vet tells me it was back by this morning, all courtesy of some clever Facebooking. From the paint job to the logo, the van at Midtown Vets is tough to miss, which is exactly why. One of the car alarms went off, and we would have, honestly, we didn't pay attention to it. We, Dr. Leonardo Baez still can't believe it was stolen. From the moment you walk out to when he drives off, how long? Oh, it was probably three, four seconds. I mean, he was, he was quick. Just enough time for Baez to see the stranger inside. He asked one question. I stood up here. As he was pulling this way, and I look at him and I say, What are you doing? The reply came via gas pedal, disappearing down the street. It didn't take long to realize the guy got the key after breaking into Baez's truck, and it didn't take much longer to get the word out. We put pictures of the van on our Facebook page, and uh, all of our friends immediately started sharing. In minutes, more than 100 shares on Facebook alone. The stolen van went up on every social media corner until finally paying off late last night when a friend stopped by at Dell City apartment. He saw our post, and as he pulled into that apartment complex, there was the minivan. No sign of the suspect. Only thing missing? A quarter tank of gas. 200 bucks to a tow truck later. The van was back where it belonged. The doctor tells us despite this being the first crime here at the clinic, there's already discussions about possible surveillance cameras. In Midtown, Morgan Chesky, KOCO, 5 News.